stupid hat. Hey guys, Ian from Eurogamer here, and I'm going to be showing off today Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt DLC for Borderlands 2. It's out today on the PC and the Xbox 360. It's out tomorrow, Wednesday the 16th on the PS3. Um, now, the way to access it is through a fast travel station, and you're looking for Hunter's Grotto. So uh, let's travel there now. This is the first time I've uh, ever played it, so uh, I'll be quiet for the cutscenes. Um, if you're wanting to pick this up on the PC and the PS3, it's going to cost you £8. On the Xbox 360, it's going to cost you 800 Microsoft points. Danger! Excitement! More stashes! It's time for another episode of Vault Hunter Adventures featuring Sir Hammerlock. In this week's tale, our hard-boiled heroes travel to the savage continent of Agris. Their goal? To uncover the most exotic creatures Pandora has to offer and give them the old one-two. But danger looms on the horizon for our swell swashbucklers. For while Handsome Jack may be gone, his legacy lives on. So that guy you saw there right at the end is the uh, new villain. You made it, old chum. I've set up a base camp of sorts near your location. Come find me, would you? And uh, that was Sir Hamelock, who we've got to go find. Now, Hunter's Grotto is um, in the land of Agris, and uh, it's a never-before-seen land. We've never been there before. Um, I've not uncovered any of the map yet, so let's uh, blindly find our way there. Uh, yes, it's f the, the whole... Um, New World is uh, is full of indigenous animals that have not been seen uh, anywhere else in the game. So this isn't a uh, this isn't a reskinning of bad guys or anything. There's uh, new human enemies, uh, savages that uh, you'll be fighting as well. Uh, they're controlled by the uh, the the main the main enemy, and uh, they're also uh, very tough bad guys called witch doctors that um, I've been uh, informed uh, are pretty hard to handle. They'll um, use their uh, spells to rank up normal savage warriors in an instant. It's a very big, swampy landscape, though. And uh, because of this, Gearbox have included new vehicles. Well, a new vehicle. And the new vehicle, in this case, is a fan boat. Let me see if there's any... Ow! Wetland Drifter, he's like a big creepy daddy long legs thing. That was an XP for taking one of them down though. And they're uh, weak to fire, which is nice. I'm playing using my Mechromancer. I've actually, uh, I hadn't really played too much Borderlands 2 since its release. I've spent the last three days grinding through the game. I started uh, with the Mechromancer from uh, uh, where I left off about five months ago. So I, I ground from level like 11 all the way up to level 30. I'm nearby. Come find me and we'll fight our way to the lodge together. Then it'll be nothing but a carefree weekend of hunting, companionship and body jokes about social taboos. Oh, sir, have a look, you old card. There we go. I'm guessing this is Sir Hammerlock's base down here. Here we go, his camp. What ho, Vault Hunter! Welcome to Agris! The lodge is just up the path here. Stick close and we should arrive with no trouble. Okay, that's good. We've got a bit of a guide for our first step into Agris then. A 
Now, this DLC is supposedly similar in length to the Pirates DLC that came out a while back. Uh, but there are a variety of hunting side quests which uh, take a very long time to complete, a couple of hours at least, uh, because um, a lot of the animals behave in different ways. They come out at different times of not, uh, of the day. Why are you waiting there, Hammerlock? Hello, I guess he's waiting for me to uh, go up here. That probably means there's going to be an ambush. Yeah, here we go. So one of these, these are the savages, savage warriors. They're shielded. No match for me, though. They're very fast moving, actually. A lot more faster moving than previous generic enemies. There we go, he's down. Obviously the shield's helping him a bit, but... Not too bad. Oh, take it down, yeah. Didn't even have to get my uh, death claw out. Oh, there's the witch doctor that I was telling you about. He's uh, spawned a savage warrior right there. Now if you leave the witch doctor alone for too long he'll he will buff up the um, the warriors. He'll create new warriors. Where is this witch doctor? And when he becomes a whirlwind like that he's indestructible. So it's best if you can to get rid of the witch doctor straight away. He's taking a lot oh he's a burning witch doctor. <laughs> That'd be why. Uh, my gun has no effect. Using the wrong elemental weapon. Uh, let me use my uh, crazy cursed gun. Oh, God, God, I'm down already. Come on. Ah, oh, he's. See that? He's healthed himself up. Wow. He's a tough guy. Oh yeah, I was using my curse gun. I love it, it completely kills your movement speed, but uh, it uh, sprays corrosive bullets. Great for taking down robots. Hyperion would like to take this opportunity. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Well, that started me right back at uh, Hammerlock's base. That's not great. Like I said, I've not played this DLC yet at all. This is a uh, nice, uh, nice skin there. I've not played this DLC yet, so uh, I'm seeing all this for the first time. I've read up on it though, uh, so I'm not too sure how many kind of areas to Agris there are. down already. Get my second wind and send Deathclaw out after them. So I've got to try and take down this Witch Doctor as quick as I can. He is absolutely solid. They're definitely not making this one easy. It's nice to know that all the enemies are new and stuff and this this isn't just a a reskinned version of uh, enemies that we're fighting. These are brand new guys, brand new attacks, brand new ways to defend yourself, and brand new ways to get completely screwed over. Oh man that witch docs is horrible. Uh, now I've oh, <laughs> I've actually, um, the reason I had to uh, play all the way through uh, to level 30 is because this game's kind of, it, it kind of expects you to have completed the game already. I've not completed the game, but I have, uh, I've got myself up to level 30, otherwise this would be absolutely impossible on anything other than 30. And it's already really tricky, as you can see, uh, my, um, <laughs> the fact that I've been owned so much. 
So that was a quick look at Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt DLC. Uh, if you want to see more, then I suggest you head online and give it a download right now. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Eurogamer for plenty more early gameplay previews, exclusive interviews and loads more coming up in 2013. See ya! Oh, actually, I'm just... I'm just going to take on this two-legged drifter while you guys uh, press that subscribe button. Come on, I'll get you! Yes! Damn!